Well, I've come out here today just to talk about a new, uh, another new bit of night vision that Night Fox has sent me, called the Night Fox Cub. Now it's a very similar size to my Hawk laser rangefinder, so it fits in all the pockets that I would normally put that in, which is pretty handy. And this is a monocular, unlike their others, which you use two eyes to, to view through. This is just a single eye. So the benefit of that that I really found was you only sort of ruin your natural night vision on the one eye. With the night vision scope I use, I no longer have a screen to look at, which you use both eyes for, but you only use your right eye to look through the scope as you normally would. So when using this, I can have full night vision in my left eye, and um, and this eye just just gets whited out just by using the the artificial light of these screens. So that's one advantage. The other advantage is obviously just how small it is. So we'll crack open the box and have a closer look. So it comes in this hard case, as all Night Fox products do. If we crack it open, you'll see that it is just like a, a rangefinder sort of size. Um, fits really nice and easy in the hand and yeah, real real nice and, and ergonomic. It'll fit in any jacket pocket, any trouser pockets unless you for some reason like hunting in skinny jeans. But yeah, this for me is one that lives in my gun bag. I just don't bother taking it out because there's no point. If I'm out shooting and it gets dark, I can just grab this out the bag and it's always there, always charged and uh, ready to go, whether that be ratting or rabbit. So a little bit about this unit. It's got three times magnification. So everything that you look through is naturally three times, unless you use the digital zoom. I don't tend to use the digital zoom, all it does is crop the image and makes it a little bit blurry. But um, if you do want to have a little closer look at something, it, it is there if you need it. This one isn't full HD, so it's not like the Corsac. It's more like the like the 120. Um, so still perfectly adequate for spotting rabbits and and uh, and foxes but it isn't full HD, and that's also reflected in the price, so not a major disadvantage. Still plenty sharp enough to spot things out to about 200 yards. You get about three hours battery life out of it, um, just turning it on and off, putting it in your pocket, going for a stalk, having another scan. Um, on full IR all the time, I don't know how long you get, probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Uh, I haven't tested that, but when I went out with it, three hours was fine. You do have the option to record with this, it's got a little SD card if you flick that switch in there with the battery. If you see something interesting while you're out or you want to record your mate's shot on a rabbit, you can do that with this. Another advantage that I've found is how easy the battery is to change. So if you're out a little bit longer than you're expecting and your battery starts to die, again it's just a case of flipping that out, battery comes out and pop a new one in. And it's the same battery as all the all the hunting torches and IR torches are using at the minute and also the same as vape batteries so readily available, rechargeable and yeah just really handy. So yeah on the box it says the viewing distance is about 160 yards um, like I said I put the laser range finder on it and I found it to be a little bit further than that um, I got the viewing distance out to about 200 yards uh, so it was clear enough to identify a rabbit um, probably wouldn't you know you don't get a lot of detail with that but if you if there's a rabbit there you'll see it which is all you need really and yeah that's pretty much it if you want to extend the range on this you can just use an external torch maybe use like a, a night fox spectrum torch or something and just use it alongside this and then you'll be able to see well as far as you want really for those interested the ir wavelength is 850 this retails for about 140 quid and there's not a great deal else you can get for 140 quid as a monocular um, a few of the older binoculars I think are about that now um, but you do sacrifice the a little bit of compactness with those so um, so for something that's going to stay in my gun bag um, and just be there for when I need it it's perfect. Would I use this as my primary night vision spotter? Probably not because I've got the option of using Night Fox's uh, Corsac um, which is full HD. It is a little bit bigger but it's, a, it's one of those um, but yeah, like I say, for something that will just stay in my gun bag and I don't even have to think about carrying around, it's it's ideal. And for those also that don't have the budget to get the higher end night vision, again, this is something that will really open your world up to, to night vision shooting. So if you've got any questions, just drop them in the bottom. Um, if I've forgot to mention anything, just, um, just ask and probably either me or Night Fox will be there to reply to you. 
So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe. Plenty more videos coming, especially as we get into summer. Cheers.